we're here to talk about Triple Frontier, which, okay, as the title would suggest, it's a bit of sort of a, a mixing of boundaries. Uh, it's a little bit action, a little bit heist, a little bit of a war movie, some suspense. Uh, how would you classify it? JC, why don't you start us off? <laughs> Um, Put it think, in a box, please. I think you did a really good job. I think our hope for the film was that it would operate at two different levels. On, on one level, you'd have a, a good old-fashioned you know, action movie heist that would just never let you go, grab onto you. If we did our jobs right, I think on another level, you have what hopefully is, is a character study that's, that's actually looking um, at a bunch of people's lives who have who've been through 15 or 20 years of, of you know, a tremendous experience and they're kind of reflecting on that. And I think you merge those two things together and, and hopefully that, that turns into something. Hopefully you don't take this the wrong way, but like the vintage aspect of no. a sophisticated action drama, because it's strange that these movies are somehow unique or that this be unique because of, because of that. I think Jay-Z's movies have that sort of experience, a sophisticated tone and an and, and, and original uh, version of, of, of a beginning, middle, end of a story. And so it's weird that 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 it's that that's more rare. I mean, yeah, you look at like the yeah. the top movies, and it's it's a bunch of adaptations and sequels. Not that there's anything wrong with that, no. but it's something no, kind of like there might be. Some, I mean, yeah. it's very valid. <laughs> <laughs> it would seem absurd to be having this conversation when we're talking about storytelling, and storytelling by its nature should be should is aspire to be original. Yeah, and I mean the source material isn't Fair so much set up. Yeah. <laughs>